Now Bristol is an amazing city. I was here standing under that tree over there in May when we celebrated the election of Marvin as the mayor of Bristol. An incredible day and an incredible achievement. But then you think back to the history of this city. Never forget our history. Always look at it and understand it. And so I think of those that stood up against racism in the bus industry, in the Bristol bus boycott, and Paul Stevenson, and the work that he did, and the way in which Tony Benn, an MP at that time, stood with them, just as he stood with the people of Kenya during the uprisings there, just as he stood for peace, justice, and anti-racism the world over. There is a housing crisis facing every part of this country. In Bristol, it is a housing shortage of the lack of council housing, of a council that's been told by the government it's got to sell off high-value properties, and for children growing up in an insecure private rented flat, knowing they might have to leave their mates and move school, having no security. And young people, even from relatively well-off backgrounds, totally unable to buy anywhere of their own to live. We have created a housing shortage in order that some people can make a great deal out of that housing shortage. If we invest in building good quality homes for people to live in, environmentally sustainable, passive house standard buildings, we achieve a lot of things. One, those that live in them will pay much less in energy bills. Two, they'll have somewhere secure to live for their entire life. Three, we create jobs for the building workers and all the way through the supply chain. Exciting developments to give everyone somewhere secure, reasonable and decent to live in. And that is just one of the many policies that we're putting forward. When people say that we're not reaching out to people, I simply say this. There are thousands of us here. Some of you might be members of the Labour Party. Some of you might not be members of the Labour Party. But I hope, if you're not, you will recognise that what we're doing is opening up and changing politics to bring people in. Take heart from the numbers with us. Take heart from the enthusiasm of young people who were driven away from politics in the past by joining in this fantastic movement. Nobody and no community ever left behind. Thank you very much. <laughs>